Good afternoon. Welcome to Hannah Field. It is uh, junior, high, high, junior High Highlander football here this afternoon from Hannah Field. Valley City taking on the Squirrels of Central Cass. Uh, Central Cass kicking off, and the Highlanders will have the ball first. First down. They'll be first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Again, similar to the J JV ninth grade. It'll be 10-minute quarters, running clock until the final two minutes of each quarter and half. Again, teams uh, get a chance to, uh, they will be punting if they like. Highliners in their Highlander blue tops with the dark pants and the dark blue helmet. I like that. I like this uh, combination scheme. I'd like to see this on the varsity someday. Let's call it that Highlander Columbia blue top. Squirrels in their whites with the black pants and red numerals. First and 10 for Valley City from the 26 yard line. Doubleheader football. The seventh graders will go first. And then we'll have the eighth graders to follow. About a 6.15 start time for those eighth graders. Andrew Secor working at quarterback. Zachary Geisler, uh, Geisler just came in from the sidelines. Had to get a quick play. Actually, uh, Secor is the fullback. There's the pitch to the tailback on the far side. Tyson Claybo gets out across the 30, out to the 31-yard line. And uh, check that. That is uh, Jaden Mascarinas Milan on the carry. So he gets out across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Pick up five yards. Second down and five for the Highliners. Junior high football. Our first junior high game. I think every time when a junior high game scheduled, either gets moved or canceled. From the 30, we'll uh, call it the 32-yard line. Second down play coming up here. Again, uh, Macarena's Milan on the carry. He gets out across the 35, out to the 36, maybe the 37, but it is going to be enough for a Highliner first down at the 37-yard line. They'll mark it right between, uh, just shy of the 37. First down and 10 for Valley City. And if you're a Central Cast fan uh, watching, I do apologize. They did not get rosters here from the uh, Central Cast coaches, or they were not given to me. Let's put it that way. But we have the Highliners here from the 32, 37 line. First down and 10 for Valley City. I formation. Receivers ride both sides of the field. And a quarterback is Griffin T Doctor. And the inside handoff, short gain to the 40. On the carry is Andrew Sakura. Gain of three yards to the 40-yard line. Brings up second down and seven. A beautiful fall night here. Not a cloud in the sky. There is a little bit of wind, though. That wind was going at a pretty good pace at around 20, 25 miles per hour earlier today. Right now, it's at 16 out of the north-northwest. From the 40, second down and seven. Sakura. On the handoff, actually, is Macarena's Milan on the carry, and he'll get out to the 45-yard line, pick up a five yards. And he'll bring up third down and about two yards to go for Valley City. Our game time temperature, 61 degrees, lots of sunshine. And with that north-northwest wind, that is at the back of the Highliners. They're out to the 44-yard line. They need to get to the 47, third and three for Valley City. Again, I formation backs uh, behind quarterback Doctor. Now he rolls to the near side. He wants to run. Doctor to the 40, and he is going to lose the football, and it's going to roll out of bounds. It was not uh, the squirrels could not get to it. But Griffin Doctor trying to roll out and take it himself. Lost the football at about the 41-yard line, so they'll lose yardage. They'll say back to the 41 is where they lose yardage. Loss of three, so it'll bring up fourth down and six for Valley City from the 47-yard line. Kevin Trebold was going to come in, now goes back. Now looked like they were going to try to send, now they'll send in Hunter Undum. We'll go in along with Max Robinson. Andrew Sikora will go back in punt formation for Valley City. Line of scrimmage, the 41-yard line. 5.25 left to go. Clock moving for quarter. There's the punt. Lefty kick. Nice punt. That's a boomer. That's going to go inside the 20-yard line and finally picked up at the 15. Squirrels with it across the 20. Out to the 25. Here to the near side. At the coming cut back to the 30. 
to the 35 and then brought out of bounds here in the near side. On the tackle was Undum along with Elton on the tackle. And that was a 44-yard punt thanks to a lot, couple of nice rolls by the lefty kicker, Sakura. And now the Squirrels will have it first and 10 from the 38-yard line on the near hash. Their first possession, 440. Here in quarter number one, no score. Highliners and Squirrels, junior high football, seventh grade football here from Hannah Field. Working from the shotgun, receives wide both sides of the field. Two receivers here to the near side. There's the snap and the handoff and not nothing there. That big time tackle by Hunter Undum. He blew that play up right from the get-go. Came flying through and Undum with a nice uh, tackle for a loss. That'll be a loss back inside the 35, just shy of the 35-yard line. The loss of three brings up second down and 13 for the Highliners. Highliner Junior Varsity, they're up in Grand Forks, taking on Central. That'll be the same two schools playing here Friday night. Final home game for the Highliners. Whoop, there was movement on the line. There's the flag. That'll be a false start wide receiver on that far side of the field. A little eager to get out into his pattern. And so back him up five more. Makes up second down and 18. The ball now marked at the 30-yard line. Again, running clock until we get to the final two minutes of each quarter and each half. 3.25 to go here in the opening quarter. No score. First possession, Chukas. Inside the hash marks. From the 29-yard line, it is second down and 18. There's a snap, back to throw, looking, throwing. It's a wobbler over the middle, and it is tipped incomplete. Xander Compson nearly came up with the interception, but it was knocked away. As the receiver became the defender, and it's just an incompleted pass, brings up third down. And 18 for Central Cass. The line of scrimmage again just to, well, just shy of the 30-yard line. We'll call it the 29. Now an eye formation. Fumbled snap, and it is still loose. And the Highliners say they have it. Referee has not shown any indication. It is Highliner football. So the Highlanders come up and make the play and get the first turnover of the game. And they will take over first and 10 at the Squirrels 26 yard line. So the first turnover. And the Highlanders have great starting field position, first down and 10 from the 26. Doctor under center, eye formation. Pitch wide, there's a fumble, and that is uh, on the ground, and now Central Cass is they recovered. And the officials uh, say, yep, they did. So the Squirrels recover that fumble, the pitch to the tailback. Mascarinas Malin, uh, Milan, and he couldn't come up with it cleanly, went to the ground, and is recovered by Central Cass. So they'll have it right back, first and 10. At the 29-yard line, we hit one minute left to go here in this first quarter. No score between Valley City and Central Cass. On the near hash, two receivers wide to the right, one here to the near side, eye formation. And the handoff here along the near side. Got the corner at the 30-yard line and then taken out of bounds at around the 32-33 yard line. Max Robinson on the tackle for Valley City. Final half minute here in quarter number one. Again out to the 33-yard line. Gain of four brings up second down and six. And see if the squirrels try to fire off a play here before the end of this first quarter. Yeah, no play clock either. So they come up to the line of scrimmage from the 33-yard line, bringing up a second down and six. Two receivers right, one, two receivers here to the near side. In the shotgun formation. 
Back to pass. Pumps. Brings it down. Under pressure. Throws over the middle. And it is. Uh, did he catch it? I believe they're going to call that a catch out to the 439-yard line. That's a gain of six right at the first down marker. Uh, the wobble again as the quarterback was hit as he threw it. But the squirrels get the first down at the 39-yard line, and that is the end of the first quarter. So your score after one quarter of play, it's Valley City nothing, Central Cast nothing. We're back with the second quarter. This is Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network. Well, after the uh, fumble by Valley City, Central Cass has a first down. They'll have it first and 10 after the completion of uh, six yards out to the 39-yard line. First and 10 for the Squirrels. Here as we start the second quarter, now working from left to right. He'll go trip slap, one here to the near side. And the handoff inside, handoff to the tailback. Cuts the corner at the 40 to the 45-50. Spin move at the 45 in Highlander territory inside the 40. Fumbles the football, and I think Central Cass might have fallen on it at the 35 yard line as the ball came out as he was uh, cutting back towards the middle of the field, and it was stripped out. And now they're going to say Highlander football. So Valley City recovered the fumble. That was a great run. And it'll be first down for Valley City. And they'll mark it just shy of the 35-yard line. So the offense will come back on the field. That's two turnovers now against the Squirrels. After a great run. And then a strip on the fumble. So the Highlanders will have it first and 10 on the far hash mark. At the 35-yard line. Uh, working from right to left here in the second quarter. Chase Albrecht will check into the lineup. He gives the offensive call to Griffin Doctor. Preston Myers works with the offense on the seventh grade side. Jimmy Howard working on the eighth grade side. From the 35, I formation receivers both sides of the field. Doctor turns, handoff. Macarena's uh, Milan got away from one tackler. Cuts the corner here to the near side. He's at the 40, 45, 50, 45, and then he loses the football. But I think he stepped out of bounds before he fumbled it. I th the squirrels say they have the football, but the referee marking the 39, uh, 41 yard line in squirrels territory, which will be a 20 yard run and a first down for the Vikings. Similar as the last play going along the sidelines. And they say he stepped out of bounds before the fumble. So first and 10 for the Highliners at the Squirrels 41-yard line. 8.45 to go here in the second quarter. No score. Well, open a leg. El send receiver wind to the far side. That's Riley Picar. Riley Picker. Doctor rolling out. He is wrapped up, and he is going to be sacked back to the 49-yard line. So Griffin Doctor didn't have a whole lot of time to do anything with that one after he got the ball from center. Sacked back at the 49. Loss of eight. Brings up second down and 18. So second and eight coming up here for the Valley City Highliners. After they recovered the Fumble. This will be the third play of this drive, which started back on their own 35. Second and 18. From the third 49. Handoff. 
Macarena's Malin on the far Milan on the far side cuts the corner at the 45 down to the 40 yard line. He gets most of the yardage back of the from the sack, and they'll mark him down to the 41. Gain of eight. So third down and ten cup here for Valley City. A third and ten from the squirrel 41 yard line. Got to figure four down territory here for Valley City. 7-10 left to go here in quarter number two. No score. High formation behind Doctor. He's got two receivers wide to the far side of the field. Macarena is Milan on the carry at the 40. And uh, he will get down to the 36. So he'll be short of the first down. It'll bring up fourth down and five after that pickup of five yards. Down to the 36-yard line. So fourth down play here for the Valley City offense at the Squirrels' 36-yard line. That'd be a 54-yard field going into the wind. I don't think they'll try that. So it'll be fourth down coming up here for Valley City. Six minutes, 20 seconds to go. Second quarter, no score. Wide receivers both sides of the field. I formation behind Griffin Doctor from the 36. He'll turn, pitch it. Mockering is uh, Milan to the far side. Needs to get that corner, does not. He is pushed out of bounds for no gain. And the ball will go over to the Squirrels as the defense strung that out nicely on that far sideline. So it'll be first and 10 for Central Cass. From the 36-yard line at their own 36 after they stopped the Highliners on downs after the Highliners recover that fumble. So the squirrel offense back on the field. And the bright sunshine in the far hash. Six minutes, one second to go here in quarter number two. In the shotgun, low snap, one hop pickup. Quarterback looking to throw a ball hit and incomplete. I think his arm was hit as he was coming forward and it wobbled end over end incomplete. And it'll bring up second down and 10 for Central Cass. A junior high football here tonight on the Highlander Activity Network. We'll have volleyball coming up for you on Thursday. And then varsity football for you on Friday. More on that during our post game. On the snap, in standoff, here to the near side at the 35 40. 45 cuts back to the 50, and it's going to be a foot race to the 30. 25 20, 15 10, 5, touchdown. That will be a 64 yard run. And it comes with five minutes and seven seconds to go here in this uh, second quarter. So a 64-yard run. And again, I apologize. I'll try to get the name of the uh, player here at halftime. And now the conversion coming up here for Central Cass. That was a nifty run, made a cut back at about the 50, and then a, a foot race from there. I formation, fumble on the snap, and the conversion will be no good. So we come back up the field with 5.07 left to go here in the first quarter, the second quarter, and your score, it is Central Cass 6 and Valley City nothing. This is Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network.
Paul McDonald back with you here at Hannah Field. Deacon's on our cameraman uh, tonight uh, here in this junior high football game. And the Squirrels, after turning the ball over on downs for the Highliners, run two plays and get 64-yard touchdown run. The conversion failed, and we'll try to get the name of the uh, couple of the players and the players for the Squirrels here at halftime. Again, I apologize to Central Cast fans. No rosters were given to us, so we are just giving numbers here right now. That was 18 on the carry and the run. There's a kickoff. Ando Wren is going to go all the way inside the five-yard line. Highlanders will bring it out here to the near side and across the 10 and getting out close to the 15-yard line. On the return is Hunter Undum. So it'll be first and 10 for Valley City, about a 10-yard return. Out to the 15-yard line with four minutes and 55 seconds to go. Well, no, actually, it's not running clock. It's normal clock here because uh, they are maybe on change of possession that they stop it. By the way, it's 4.55 to go. Second quarter, 6 nothing. Squirrels with the advantage. High formation, doctor under center, receivers wide both sides of the field. On the near hash from the 15. Macarinas Milan on the carry, and he is grabbed from behind, and he is going to get nowhere. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage, and actually looks like they'll give him a foot forward, or three feet forward, one yard, to the 16. Brings up second down and nine for Valley City. From the 16-yard line. Gavin Trebolt checking into the lineup here for the Highliners. Facing a second and nine from the 16-yard line. Receivers wide, both sides again. That pro set, I formation. And Macarena's Milan on the carry. Gets away from one tackle in the backfield. Won't get away from a second, third, and the rest of the squirrels converge on him and bring him down back to the 15, uh, back to the five-yard line. That's going to be an 11-yard loss. Jaden got away from the initial contact, but then the squirrels just gang-tackled him. And looks like there might be a flag. There is a flag on the far side of the field. The line of scrimmage right now is the six. The illegal use of the hands against the Highliners. It's declined. So at the five-yard line, after that loss of 11, brings up third and 20 for Valley City at their own five-yard line. The third down and 20 coming up. Hello. And we have a timeout on the field, so a timeout taken. With three minutes and 39 seconds left to go here in the second quarter, Valley City trailing Central Cast six to nothing. We're back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network. Who's that tall dude right there? Paul McDonald back with you here at Hannah Field. The Highliners facing a third and part of Barnes County from the five-yard line. There's a pitch in the end zone, and that's going to be a safety. Macarena's Milan is not going to get out of that one, and that's going to be a safety for Central Cass. Boy, the Squirrels' deep front line, they just did a great job coming through. And now a safety. That makes it 8 nothing. 
So that makes up for the loss, not getting the two-point conversion. And with three minutes and 34 seconds left to go here in quarter number two, It will be a free kick coming up here for the the Highlanders. Will have to free kick it to the Squirrels. So it'll be from the 30-yard line. Eight nothing is your score. And then now they're gonna get again on a free kick. You can either punt it or kick it off a tee. And Riley or uh Macarinas Milan says, I'll take the tee. Now he turns and gives the tee back. Maybe they I know in uh, some, I thought in the NFL you get a choice, but no, it is a punt, so they're going to have to punt it. And that's going to be punted into that 16-mile-an-hour win. So the Squirrels, after getting the safety, Kind of announcement here. I'm going to be uh, pass along after after this free kick here for Valley City. So the Squirrels are going to have outstanding field position after this free kick. Oh, the high kick, spiraling kick, comes down, hits at the 49, and it's taken by the Squirrels inside the 45, down to about the 41 yard line. So that's where Central Castle will come out first down and 10. With three minutes and 28 seconds to go, we're in quarter number two. Squirrels leading at eight to nothing. And again, uh, just an update. We are not going to be broadcasting our eighth grade game here tonight. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, some public forums that are going to be going on in Valley City uh, about the uh, new school and so forth and uh, what's going on there. And so we're going to have that live streamed here on Wednesday, but we will be recording tonight's public forum and played back on the Hotivity Network but we'll be live streaming Wednesday's uh, public forum from the theater. So again, we won't have the eighth grade game for you here tonight against Central Cass. And uh, but our next sporting event will be coming up here on Thursday. We'll talk about that here at halftime. Squirrels have the football first down and 10 from the 41-yard line. Two minutes and 38 seconds left to go in quarter number two. Eight nothing, Squirrels with the lead. They've got two receivers wide both sides of the field. Cornerback back to throw, rolling out. Oh, there should be some holding going on there, but nothing called. Now he's looking to get away from pressure, and he is going to be brought down for a sack. Going to be a loss back to the 46-yard line. Looked like Andrew Sakura got in initially and disrupted that, and the sack will be back again to the 36-yard line. Or 46, I'm sorry, 46-yard line. A loss of five. Brings up second down and 15 for Central Cass. Remember, squirrel offense from the last few years, a lot of passing, and uh, they're very pass-happy offense. Here's an inside handoff on the second down play. There's a they defend, another defensive play for Valley City and a loss of yardage. It was Tyson Claybell that came up with the play there, and that's going to be a loss of a yard back to the 47, maybe the 48th, a loss of two. Third and 17 coming up. Remember their wide receiver, I think it was Kretchum or, or yeah, Kretchman from time. Central Cass. Now setting records up at Minnesota State no, Moorhead. No. From the 48-yard line in Highlander territory, it is third and a whole bunch here for the Squirrels. Rolling out. Now throwing the ball's hit. That's going to be a fumble, and I think this is the only thing it's saying completed pass. They say his arm was moving forward. As he was hit by Sakura. So it's just going to be an incompleted pass. Brings up fourth down and 17 for Central Cass from the Highliner 48 yard line. 
Final 40 seconds of this second quarter. From the 48. Squirrels are, look like they're going to go back in normal offensive formation. They may be putting it. The Highliners do have a couple of players deep. High kick, far side, and that is over the head of Undum, and Hunter's going to let it go out of bounds. And let's see where that's going to be marked at the 17, or a seven-yard line as well to mark it down. That's a 41-yard punt. Well, we've seen a couple of great punts here. 41-yard punt, no return. And it'll be first and 10 for Valley City. Time for a couple of plays here in the second quarter. 21 seconds to go. Coming up at halftime, we'll let you know what else is on our schedule here for the remainder of the week for the Highline Activity Network. So stick around for that. Line of scrimmage is a seven-yard line. They'll bring him up to the line. Receivers wind both sides of the field for the Highliners. Have that eye formation. Macarena at Milan. They'll dot the eye. He gets the handoff. And right into the arms of one of the D linemen again. And it's thrown down. Actually, that's Hunter Undum on the carry. Undum will get it out to the maybe lose the yard to the six. So it'll bring up second down and long. And that will be the final play of this second quarter as the clock winds down to triple zeros. So your score at halftime here from Hannah Field in this junior high 7th grade football game. It is Central Cass 8 and Valley City nothing. We're back with our halftime. This is Highlander Football on the Highlander Activity Network. Matthew here at Hannah Field at the half. And we'll get right into the second half coming up here in a moment. Recapping the scoring for the Squirrels. It was Lucas Christensen had that 64-yard touchdown run after the Highlanders turned the ball over on downs, and they had an incompleted pass to the Squirrels on the first play, and then Christensen went 64 yards in the second play, and the two-point conversion failed, and then the Squirrels came up with a defensive play and got a safety when uh, Jaden Mascarinas Milan was tackled in the end zone, and that made it 8-0. That came with 3.34 to go in the second quarter. And now we're ready for the start of quarter number three. There's a the short kick picked up at the 30-yard line for the Squirrels across the 35 to the 40 and gone to the 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and brought down from behind. He just ran out of gas and was brought down from behind by Jaden Macarinas Milan, and that was a at least for the time being a touchdown saving tackle as that's going to be a return of 65 yards. And it'll be first and goal to goal here for the Squirrels. And they will have it at the five-yard line. So first down play coming up here. Opening seconds here of quarter number three here in the seventh grade game. Again, we'll give you a programming reminder here after this. And they're trying to get the, a player off the field, and they didn't, so the Highliners had to take a timeout. So the Highliners had to spend a timeout because they had too many men on the field. And so a timeout taken by Valley City. Clayton, put a, put a headset on for a second. We're, see, we're going to put you on uh, number three or number one. Yeah, right there. Go ahead, buddy. Hello. Oh. How you doing? Good. Well, we'll turn you up a little bit. Leighton Hendrickson. Number 58 from uh, the white team for the Thunder. So finished off the season last night. Uh, how do you like playing uh, playing football? It was fun, you know. You know, got to hit people. <laughs> you made some. Out, yeah. yeah, you made some plays out there. So now you're going to be seventh grade. You're going to be out here next year. Uh, at least you hope to, right? Yeah. Hope I don't get injured like I did the first year of Thunder. Did you last year as a fifth grader you got injured? Linebackers, I like playing or defensive line. Where do you like playing? I mean, it depends upon where they need me if they sure. do. Well, I know last night, uh, last uh, here on uh, Thursday was the last game of the season, so now you hand in your gear. Kind of sad to see the season done. Yeah. yeah. But now next year you'll get to be uh, up here with the uh, 
with the seventh graders. Looking forward to that? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll probably talk to you again, so just hang tight. Lane, Lane Hendrickson, one of the Thunder football players, joining us here. As uh, up in the press box, we have seventh grade, which we'll see him next year playing seventh grade football here for the Highlanders. At least we hope to tell the family to stay in town and, and, and don't get hurt, and, and we'll see Leighton uh, running around making plays next year. First play from scrimmage for the Squirrels, a loss of five yards back to the 10-yard line. So it'll bring up a second and goal from the 10-yard line here for Central Cass. They are working here from left to right in the third quarter. Eight minutes, 29 seconds to go in this third quarter. In at quarterback for the Squirrels is Brody Kegley. He's working at quarterback. Christensen back behind him. Kegley wants to throw, and Kegley's going to be wrapped up and throw down for a loss. Back to the 20-yard line. Hunter Undum coming up with a sack there for the Highliners. And that'll be a loss back inside the, well, they'll go mark it at the 18-yard line. So it'll bring up third and goal from the 18 for Central Cass. Seven minutes, 50 seconds to go. Bob McDonald along with Cameron Mantegan's on here. Lederickson, a member of the Thunder, also uh, up in the booth with us here. Talking a little of uh, Thunder football. On the play, and Christensen uh, was going to get the handoff, but Kegley couldn't handle it, and it's going to be a fumble, and they're going to say that the Highliners have it, so the Highliners recover the fumble. First and 10 for Valley City at the 23-yard line. Leighton, uh, put the headset on. Here's a question for you, because I know you said you like to you get out there hitting people, and uh, you like playing defense better than offense, or do you only play defense? I like playing defense better than the offense, you know. You, l you like getting out there and knocking heads? Yeah. <laughs> Wearing his uh, Justin Jefferson jersey here. Leighton Hendrickson up here in the boot joining us. Yeah, Jefferson had a pretty good game yesterday. Seven catches, 124 yards. He's a good guy to follow. I get the penny. No, I'm, gonna... I'm getting the penny. Highliners have it after that uh, sack and strip fumble. We'll have it first and 10. And it'll be at the 23-yard line. On the handoff, Dr. Gibbs and Marcus Milan takes a carry out across the 30, and then a host of squirrels uh, gang up on him as he gets out close to the 35. If so, that'll be enough for a Highliner first down. It is going to be a Highliner first down. So first and 10, Hunter Undum on the carry there, though. Hunter Undum carrying it that time, 44, not 34. But the first and 10 for Valley City at the 34-yard line. Six and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Seventh grade game. Highliners trailing the squirrels of Central Cass. Eight to nothing. From the 34. I formation. Doctor on him. And he is hitting the backfield and gets out of that and then pulls his way back up to the line of scrimmage. Boy, Hunter Undum could have been dropped for about a five-yard loss, but he's stripped out of that, stayed on his feet. And it picked up a yard off to the 35-yard line. So it'll bring up third down and nine for the Highliners. From the 35, Chase Albrecht will hustle out and bring the play in from the sidelines. Again, just a reminder, we will not have the eighth grade game tonight. The uh, public forum, one of uh, two public forums that are going on this week about the uh, school vote that will be coming up here in November. And it'll be live from the junior high. It'll be at the junior high high school theater. And we'll have that recorded tonight and live video stream of the public forum on Wednesday. Well, there's movement on the line of scrimmage. And that's going to be offside against the squirrels. So move them up five yards. One last question for you, Layton, before I let you go and get back out there. You know, in fifth and sixth grade, it's a lot of fundamental football. Do you know a little bit about football, watching it on TV and stuff before you started playing? Yeah. Because you know. I know that's essential. you got to know the fundamentals, right? Yeah. And uh, I know you get uh, your coaches from uh, the white team. They probably help on. But uh, I hope to see you out there next year. So when we're doing these seventh, game, seventh grade games, I want to see you out there next year, okay? Okay. Stay healthy. I will try. Uh, super. Thanks, Leighton. Leighton Hendrickson joining us here. He was on the Thunder football team. If you were there watching this year, he's number 58 on the white team, running around being a beast, as I called him. He was in beast mode, making big tackles last here a couple of last uh, Thursday night.
And, uh, hey, he asked, can I, can I talk with you? Yeah, sure, come on up. Let's talk Thunder football. Absolutely. Right now, the Highliners will have it. It'll be a third down play coming up here for Valley City. And will call it uh, third down and about five yards to go. Line of scrimmage is the 39-yard line. From the 39. Here's Doctor. Pitches to the wide side of the field on the carry. Macarena's Milan at the 40. He's going to have the first down at the 45. Still on his feet. Lowers the shoulder and plows his way into uh, Cash Lorenz as Lorenz trying to make the tackle. And it looked like uh, Jaden just put the old shoulder pad down and uh, bowled him over. But it'll be a first down for the Highliners at the 49-yard line in squirrel territory with three minutes and 49 seconds left to go in this uh, third quarter. From the 49, Dr. Handoff, Macarena, he is wrapped up and he's not going anywhere again. And he's going to lose yardage back into Highliner territory. That's going to be a loss. Well, we'll give him forward progress, but it'll still be a loss to the Highliner 48-yard line. Loss of three. So a loss of three yards up brings up. Second down and 13 for Valley City. From the 48-yard line, 2.55 left to go here in this third quarter. 8 nothing. Squirrels with the lead. High formation. Pitch. Cut back inside. And that is a Hunter Undem on the carry inside the 40 down to the 39. That's going to be enough for another Highliner first down. So Hunter Undem on the carry there. They'll mark him down at, well, if they say the 40, it's going to be about a yard short of a first down. It will be at the 40-yard line. So third and one coming up here for the Highliners from the 40-yard line. Hunter Undem now working in the backfield. As the tailback. And Jaden uh, Mascarinas uh, Milan is the fullback. Receivers wide, both sides of the field. Doctor under center. Undem up the middle on the hand. A first down and more inside the 35 yard line. And Lorenz will bring him down, but it is a first down for Valley City to the 34 yard line. Gain of six yards for Hunter Undem. And with a minute 40 to go, Highliners on the move here, trailing eight to nothing. So 8 nothing is the score. Dylan. Valley City. A touchdown run by Christensen and a safety for the squirrel defense. So from the 34-yard line, I formation for the Highliners. Here's Doctor rolling out under pressure. Dumps it off incomplete. Was looking for Hunter Undum. Threw a little bit too wide and incomplete. And we'll bring up a second down and nine. At the 34-yard line, actually. So second down play, second and ten coming up here for Valley City from the 34-yard line. That is... uh, Griffin Doctor on her center. I formation. And the inside handout. There goes the tailback. Macarena's Milan inside the 30. Pushes the pile forward down to the 28. So a pickup of six yards. They'll bring up third down and four for Valley City. And that may be the final play here of this third quarter. As the clock winds down. And that will do it for the third quarter. So we are heading to the final 10 minutes of football here at Hannah Field. And your score at at the end of three quarters of play, it is uh, Central Cass 8, 
and Valley City nothing. We're back uh, with that fourth quarter. This is Highlander Football on the Highlander Activity Network. As we start the fourth quarter, Valley City trailing at eight to nothing. There's a pitch far side. Macarena Milan has it, and he is going to be brought down short of the first down. So it'll bring up a fourth down, and looks like about a yard and a half, maybe two. So either a short two or a long one. Linus, they need to get to the 25 for the first down. Gavin Trebold will bring the play in from the sideline. So a big play here for the Highliners, trailing eight to nothing. And it'll be fourth down and two at the Squirrel 27 yard line. With that eye formation, receivers both sides of the field. And Macarena's Milan has a carry and hold on to that football. He's got the first down. They're trying to strip it. I think that was Lucas, uh, Lucas Christensen that was reaching in and tried to strip it. And he was holding on for dear life and uh, got the first down and held on to the football. Oh, did he uh, not get the first down? As they are saying, squirrels football. I thought he had it. And they're marking it down. Maybe the ball came free. Well, let's look at the highlights. So it will go over to the squirrels. They're going to say he came up short of the first down. So it'll be first and 10 for Central Cass from the 20 yard line. Eight minutes and 57 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Eight nothing squirrels. On a beautiful fall night here. Monday night football, if you will. I know Colts and Ravens are playing later, but this is real Monday night football. From the 20-yard line, first down and 10. Two receivers far side, one to the near side. Now the handoff goes to Christensen on the inside handoff as uh, Kegley on the inside give. Actually, I think on the carry there was uh, Aiden uh, Thumble on the carry. It was Aiden on the carry. No gain. So second down and 10 coming up. So second and 10 here for the Squirrels from their own 20-yard line. Two minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. 8 nothing Central Cass. High formation. Kegley under center. Gives the inside give off to Christensen. Running up at the 25 across the 30. And... Or check that again. That was Aiden Thumble on the carry. He gets out across the 30 to the 32-yard line. That's a 12-yard carry and a first down for Central Cass. So Lucas Christensen ran the, he was the lone setback in the first half. And Thumble is running it here in the second. Brody Kegley is it quarterback. Cash Lorenz quarterbacked a little bit in that second quarter and in the third. Working from the shotgun. Thumble standing to the right of his quarterback. Two receivers to the right. One hit to the near side. 
Kegley gives the fumble, fumbled the football, and the Highlanders recover at the 30-yard line. So the fumble, and the Highlanders will recover it and have it first and 10 at the Squirrel 31-yard line. Big turnover there for Valley City. So again, the Highlanders trailing 8 nothing with 7 minutes and 4 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Trailing 8 to nothing. So the Highliners, that is the third turnover for the Squirrels here in this one. High formation for Valley City. Receivers wide both sides of the field. Picker to the far side. Tree bolt here to the near side. Under the lone setback. Back to throw. Looking. Rolling his doctor. Under pressure, he'll take and run. And then he is brought down out of bounds here along the near side. Easton Holland on the tackle for the Squirrels. And that will be a gain. Well, let's see if they give him a yard or loss, pardon me, of a couple yards. Back to the 33-34 yard line. Loss of three. Brings up second down. Second and 13. From the 34 yard line for Valley City. As we hit the six minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Again, receivers wide both sides of the field with that high formation. Doctor on her center. Doctor wants to keep it, and he is brought down from behind again. Coming up on the tackle is Holland again. Easton Holland on the sack. And that's going to be a loss to the 36. So a big third down play. Now third and 15, Valley City from the squirrel 36-yard line. Great crowd here tonight from Hannah Field. 61 degrees, our game time temperature. But it's all time, it's all said and done. It'll still be in the, I'd say, mid-50s. Five minutes and ten seconds to go from the 36. I formation. Dr. Hunter Center. Churns, handoff to the 45, uh, 35 and taking the pile down close to the 31-yard line. Hunter Undem on the carry. So a fourth down play coming up. This could be the ball game right here for Valley City. 4.49 to go. They are facing a fourth and 10 from the squirrel 31-yard line. 8-0. Central Cass with the lead. Picard, uh, Riley uh, Picker goes wide to the far side. Gavin Treeball here to the near side. Doctor, and he stumbles coming out and falls down at the 35. I think is you see that a lot in the NFL, too, where that center steps back after he snaps the ball and inadvertently steps on the foot of the quarterback, and down went Doctor, and so the ball will go over to Central Cass on downs at the 35-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 for Central Cass at their own 35-yard line with four minutes and 15 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And now a timeout taken by Valley City. So the Highlanders will take a timeout. That is their second timeout. Remember, they had too many men on the field and had to call a timeout earlier in the third quarter. So that is their second timeout here in the second half. With 4.11 to go, Valley City trailing 8 to nothing. We're back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Note.
Again, just a reminder, we will not have the eighth grade game here at Hannah Field tonight. There's the public forum that will be going on at the Junior High, Senior High Theater tonight. And we will be recording that and have it on the Highlander Activity Network public forum about the, uh, again, pending of school vote coming up here in November. And we'll be live streaming the public forum on Wednesday. And those are at 7 o'clock at the theater tonight and Wednesday. And uh, if you uh, are so inclined and want to learn more about that, head on out to the theater here tonight or Wednesday. On the first down play, the bubble screen is incomplete. Pass on the far side by Kegley comes up incomplete. Brings up second down and 10 for the Squirrels at their own 35-yard line. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Clock ticking here in quarter number four. Eight-nothing Central Cass. Eye formation now. They had been working from the shotgun. And the handoff goes here near side as Lucas Christensen tried to spin out of a tackle and cannot get away. He uh, tried to make a little spin move there, but it was uh, Macarena's Milana came up and wrapped him up around the waist and held on for dear life and brought him down. A loss of a yard back to the 34-yard line. Third down play coming up here for Central Cass. Well, the Highliners can get a stop and... Of course, they only have uh, three minutes to go. They do have one timeout remaining. Squirrels will come up to the line of scrimmage from the 34 yard line. Again, no play clock. Back in that shotgun formation. Two receivers here to the near side. Kegley in the shotgun for the Squirrels. Has a wide receiver to the right. Hand off Christensen. Christensen up the middle. Runs into Hunter Undum. And down he goes. Tyson Claybo helped him out. But it'll be a gain across the 35 out to the 36. It'll bring up fourth down and long here for Central Cass. Fourth and about nine from the 36-yard line. With two minutes and 18 seconds to go. They have punted the ball. Thumble, I think, has one punt, so he is back to boot this one as well. Highlanders have two players back to the 40. Good snap. Actually, it's not thumble punting, but there's the kick. High kick. Not a bad kick. And the Highlanders have it at the 35, far side 40. Running room to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, 40, and into squirrel territory inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Nice return for Valley City on the punt. And I believe that was uh, Macarena's Milan on the return. So it'll be first and 10 for the Highliners. That is a 33-yard return. After about a 31-yard punt. So Valley City with one timeout to go and 1 minute 49 seconds on the clock, trailing 8 to nothing. So obviously they need the touchdown and the two-point conversion to send this to overtime. From the 38. Doctor looking to throw, rolling out, steps into a wobbler near side incomplete, and a flag on the play. Flag on the far sideline. Ineligible man downfield. They will decline the penalty. So the minute 41 to go. It'll be second down and 10 for Valley City. Oh, they just walked off the penalty, but they shouldn't have because they declined it. <laughs> yeah, now the, the the white cap, the referee, notices that the ball got moved. And I know it's been a long day, gentlemen, but pay attention. <laughs> so they the declined the penalty, so it'll be second down and 10 from the 37-yard line. One minute, 41 seconds left to go here in quarter number four. Eight nothing, Squirrels leading. Highliners with the football at the Squirrel 37. Doctor pitches here to the near side. And again, Macarena's Milan is caught from behind as he was trying to cut the corner. And the Squirrels come up with another big defensive play. It's going to be a loss back to the 41-yard line. 
Third down coming up here for Valley City. Third and 14 from the 41. As we approach the one-minute mark left to go here in this fourth quarter, 8-0 Central Cass. We'll just do a quick recap of the scoring and sign off here for this seventh grade game. Again, we will not be streaming the eighth grade game. Back pass, Doctor under pressure, looking, dumps it off to his tight end here to the near side. And it's going to be right back to the original line of scrimmage. Dumped it off to Sakura, who came across. And that will bring up a fourth and a lot. Back to the 42-yard line. We'll call it fourth down and about, well, they need to get to the 27. They're at the 42, so fourth and 15. Now the Highlanders are going to take their final timeout. With 48 seconds left to go, it'll be fourth down, and this one will probably, this would be the ball game. Highlanders cannot stop the clock again. And if they not get the first down, the squirrels will be able to take a few knees and, well, actually just one knee since there's no play clock. The line of scrimmage is the uh, squirrel 42-yard line. Again, no eighth grade game tonight. We are going to be recording and then playing back on the Highlander Activity Network, that public forum that will be at the theater tonight about the school vault that will be coming up in November. And then on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, live video stream of the public forum Wednesday from the theater, the live video stream on Wednesday night. And that will be uh, 7 o'clock from the junior high, senior high theater here on the Highlander Activity Network. So here we go, final play, offensive play, more than likely for the Highliners. See if they got a little razzle-dazzle, maybe a bunch of laterals and so forth. To see what they can do here in the final 48 seconds on a fourth down. Near side, Trebold, Trebold, and he is going to be wrestled down by about three or four squirrels, and down he goes. Strumble was there leading the charge defensively, so Central Cass will take over on downs. It'll be first and ten for the squirrels. At their own 47-yard line. Again, with no play clock, they just need to snap it once. Highliners do not, uh, can't stop the clock again. Was there a, uh, I didn't see if there was a flag on the play, but the white cap was saying something to the squirrel bench. As far as you want to play out the final 34 seconds, or you want to just run the clock and be done. And they are going to get into the huddle. So they will get one play to go here from the 47-yard line. First down and 10 for Central Cass. And now a little confusion as to... uh, Oh, they only had 10 guys out there. That's why. Now they got their 11th out there. So the final play of the game... I formation. Kegley takes a knee. And that is going to wrap things up here as the uh, squirrels do not need to snap it again. 24 seconds to go. Highliners can't stop the clock. So Central Cass come into Valley City and win this one tonight by a final score of 8 to nothing. Again, the just recapping the scoring here, a 64-yard touchdown run by Lucas Christensen. At 5.07 of the second quarter, the two-point conversion failed to make it 8-0, or 6-0, and then a safety at 3.34 of the second quarter. That made it 8-0, and that was all of your scoring here in this one. So again, we will not have the eighth grade game uh, coming up here on our video stream. Our next uh, sporting event, we've got volleyball Thursday from the Highliner Activity Center as the Highliners will be uh, taking on the uh, West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs will be coming up here on Thursday. So we'll have volleyball Thursday from the Hack Friday night right back here at Hannah Field for the Highliners and Grand Fork Central. Again, a reminder, video stream, recording video stream of tonight's uh, public forum. Wednesday, we will have the uh, public forum live video stream here on the Highliner Activity Network, and that will be at 7 o'clock from the theater. My thanks to uh, Technical Director Derek Barron, of course, our cameraman, uh, Deegan Zahn, and, uh, of course, all of you uh, watching and uh, tuning in here tonight. Final score, the seventh-grade game, 
Valley City falling to Central Cass 8-0. Until next time, Paul McDonald saying thanks for joining us and so long from Hannah Field.